God lives and works today. Sometimes the ways in which he works are painful and difficult to understand. But he has only one desire, to bring us home to himself. The true story of a German couple who lost their son will help us to understand this better. Some years ago, on a beautiful early spring day, seven-year-old Timmy was playing outside. Suddenly, a dark shadow fell over the day. Timmy didn't come home to lunch. The parents waited. They searched for him. They called the police. But Timmy had disappeared. Had he been kidnapped? Murdered? The father was on the edge of despair. The mother fell into deep depression. Months passed. And Timmy never returned. It seemed as though the mother's life had been extinguished the moment her child had disappeared. Horrible dreams tormented her. In her despair, she thought, How can God be love and let such horrible things happen? But her heart was crying for comfort and help. So she came to us and asked us to pray with her. Finally, she came to live here for a few months. She knew that without spiritual support, she could not cope with what had happened. At this same time, God himself came to her as a father of love, a father of comfort. And quite slowly, day by day, God drew her to himself. Timmy never returned home. For years this couple did not know where he was or what had happened to him. But they knew that they had a father in heaven, and they were secure in his loving heart. They knew that he would never tempt them beyond their strength. I often heard them say, Through this unspeakable grief, God in his love brought us home to himself. We were as far away from him as the prodigal son was. But now we have returned home to our Lord Jesus and to the Father. We would never wish that we could have escaped such dreadful suffering, and we would never change places with anyone for the sake of this peace which now surrounds us. The parents of Timmy are calling to all who are suffering. Believe, there is someone who is greater than the deepest sorrow. There is someone who can comfort us when we would normally despair. It is God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. When he leads us into deepest suffering, it is because he wants to give us a hidden treasure. He wants to give us himself in his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Not only can he fill our hearts with comfort and peace, but he can also give us abundant joy. And so we say to all who are suffering today, Your suffering will lead you home to God, the source of all joy, comfort, and peace. It will lead you home to the heart of the Father, our Father, who is infinite love. You have been listening to a program written by Basileus Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. To learn more about how God lives and works today, visit us at our website, www.canaan.org. That's K-A-N-A-A-N dot org. If you contact us, we would be happy to send you a free inspirational booklet. If you do not have access to the web, please contact this radio station for our postal address. God bless you.